what's going on y'all today i just want to discuss what's in my camera bag 2020 edition let's get to it so i've been meaning to make this video for the longest for the longest for the longest for the longest and honestly it's like i've changed out my gear so many different times you kind of get stuck into this mode of where you want like the perfect gear to all you creators out there man, it's hard it's hard it's trying to figure out just what is best for you that's all you got to do that's all you got to figure out what is best for you so as of now at the moment i feel like it's only right i finally make this video so let's dive into it <sighs> uh, jesus bag is heavy so here it is my baby, we have the Lower Pro BP450 AW version 2. Now, I've had this bag for not that long, a couple of months. I actually had the smaller version, I believe the BP150, something like that. Yeah, so I finally just decided to get the bigger one. I found myself, my gear just expanding. So yeah, Lower Pro BP450 AW version two. I love this bag. It pretty much, again, it, it fits everything that I need. You know, when you wanna travel heavy, when you need to just fill it up, fill it up for your trip, man. This bag is for you. All right, so let's talk about my cameras. The camera that I'm shooting on right now is the Sony A6100. I have the kit lens. This camera, I dig it. I dig the camera, I dig the camera. It shoots 4K, we got 1080, uh, 60 frames per second. I primarily use this this camera just for vlogs, a little behind the scenes, um, stuff like that. The fact that it's so small, foreign factor of it, I will grab this camera more likely than I would grab my main camera that I shoot my professional stuff with. So yeah, Sony A6100, go get it, go get it. Flip up screen, battery life is terrible, but you know, we can work around that. Sony A6100, go get that. Let's finally open this bad boy up. We have my main camera, the Sony A7R4. I don't even know what else to say about this camera. It's just simply amazing. 61 megapixels, the ability to crop and still have 26 megapixels. I mean, that's primarily the main reason why I picked this camera up. Autofocus on this camera is crazy. Even in video mode, it's crazy. If you're a Sony shooter and you know anything, anything about these Sony cameras, they're amazing. I love it. I don't regret buying it, but I'm not going to lie. It was a split second that I did think about on switching to Canon. I kind of did. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. Sony A7R4. Good tech. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. I recommend you pick it up. Oh, I didn't even mention that. You have it paired up with the battery grip. Uh, this is not the Sony one. I don't even know how to pronounce this. The Mike A? Mikey? I don't know. No way I was paying three, four hundred dollars just for a battery grip. Out of your mind, Sony. You're bugging. And yeah, I'll keep my money. Yeah, man. All right, I'm done. Sony A7R4. Now, let's talk about my lenses. I already said we have the kit lens. Ugh. We'll just talk about ugh. boom. We have the Tamron 28 to 75. Um, I absolutely love this lens. Uh, there was no way I was spending 2100. I don't even know how much that 24 to 70 G Master cost, but I'm not paying for it. This lens is very sharp. The only downside of it is that it's not stabilized, but I'll pass. I have it in the camera. I have my little rig set up. 
have gimbals. Tamron 28 to 70. Uh, primarily use it for my music videos. A um, couple of portrait sessions I've used this in events and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, man, it's a very, very, it's a very, very, very good budget option for that focal range. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a good zoom lens. I recommend to get the Tamron 28 to 75 2.0. Boom. Next up, we have the Tamron 20 millimeter 2.3. Now, I was really, I honestly didn't know what lens I wanted to get for more wider focal range um, at the moment. I really didn't. So I just, I grabbed this. Um, I, I contemplated on getting the 20 mil 1.8. I, I believe it's a 1.8. I don't. I don't know. 2.8, 1.8 Sony uh, G lens, but just based off my experience from the Tamron 28 to 75, that lens is very sharp, and they're producing some very good lenses for this Sony E mount. So um, I just said, you know, I gave it a try, and I actually dig it. My only thing is that the focus motor on this lens is kind of loud. It's kind of loud, um, but it, it'll do, it'll do. Uh, these Tamron lenses, I really love them because they're basically macro lenses. You could get very close to focus with these lenses. So that's, I, I really, I really, I really like it. I really like it. If you're in the market, for a wide angle lens for a Sony E mount, I would recommend getting this 20 millimeter Tamron 2.8. Looks like they get it. Next up, we have the infamous 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, this was the first lens I ever brought when I first started shooting Sony from when I had my Sony A7 II. This lens. Again, I have like a love-hate relationship with it. You know, it, it, it's cheap. It does get the job done. But when you compare this to the other lenses that I have um, and, and the focusing, in my opinion, I don't know about all the other, but in my opinion, it's trash. It, it's it's kind of trash. This lens is kind of soft. Um, again, compared to uh, my other lenses, the focusing on it, it hunts a lot. If anybody wants this, you can get it. I'll leave it on the front door if you want. Um, yeah, I, I just just didn't decide to sell it yet. Um, but again, I have a, a, a love-hate relationship with it. If you're in the market and you're just now starting out, you're a beginner, um, I definitely would recommend to get this lens. Um, yeah, it, it will get the job done. I, I must say that. I give it that. Sony 50mm 1.8. Next up, we have my big boy. I love this lens, man. I was so happy when I got it. This is the 70 to 200 F4. No way I was spending 26, whatever. I don't even know how much these lenses cost. It's like 26, 27, 28, something like that. 100 for the 2.8 for so. Um, I was contemplating on buying the new Tamron because I'm really feeling Tamron. I'm not going to lie. I'm really feeling their 70 to 180. Um, it's just, I seen the deal on this. It was used. I brought it used for about, I think, 800. And me buying the Tamron lens, I basically would have saved 400 $500. Um, and I, I, I use this lens a few times in a couple of my studio shoots. Um, it's so sharp. Again, I love it. Paired with that Sony A7 mount 461 megapixel. Stop it. Go get you one if you don't got one. I, we, we just going to get it. So, we gonna get it. I, I, I love this lens. I really do. If you need a telephoto. I love it. 
this is my baby. My baby, baby. Yeah, all right, I'm done. Sony 7200 F4. Boom. Let's talk about what else. I got some extra batteries. You got to take some extra batteries in your kit. That's a, that's a must. I have my Godox. This is the version two RX two. I don't I don't know something like that. Um, oops, a Godox trigger uh, for when I do my photo shoots. Need some off camera flash. This is the trigger. Go get you one of these. Next we have. Let's go. What are we gonna go to next? All right. Ugh. Yes. Bring out the drone. Ugh. DJI, DJ, DJI, Maverick Air 2. Yeah, man, I, I love this drone. I really do. I love this drone. Uh, great quality, 48 megapixel. Video is crazy. Pictures is crazy. I, I, I love, I love the whole, I just love it. I don't even, I was gonna I don't even know what I was gonna say. I actually just love it. If you need you a dope drone, granted, you don't actually have to spend the money on this one, but in some cases I'm gonna tell you to just save up just save up to get the, the better piece of equipment as opposed to just, you know, uh getting the cheap stuff because again you're you're gonna feel like you wasted your money. because uh, I've been there. I really have with a with a lot of stuff that I own. Or that I've purchased in the past, man. I, I, I really have. So I actually was going to buy the DJI Mini, I believe, and I feel like at the taxes it was still four or five hundred. So I'm like, what's two hundred more dollars? You know what I mean? I might as well just get this one. So that was how this came about. So got the controller. Yeah, that's it for the drone. Put this back. What else we got in here? Whew. to the microphone this is the Rode video micro um great 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 microphone for the price this is the first microphone that i actually bought i'm actually using my new wireless mic system that i have i forget the name of it um I'll, whatever stick that in there somewhere but yeah if you need to upgrade on your audio and you're not looking to spend a lot of money you can pick up this road video micro and it will do the job for you next up what we have in the camera bag is some step up things for your filters so you want to get the biggest size filter in your kit so you don't have to keep buying filters for each different one of your lenses yeah man i love this thing i'm glad i picked it up uh, next up, I have my ThinkTech little memory card holder. Uh, yeah, you know, hold your memory cards, man. Definitely, definitely rack up on your memory cards. You do not want to go to a shoot, a video shoot, and you find out that you forgot your memory card because that will absolutely suck. It will suck. Keep my main memory cards in my cameras. Um, these are just backups. I have a lot of them. Yeah. Don't. Memory cards. Make sure you get some. A lot of them. Keep them stored. Back up. Yeah, next we just have, gotta keep one of these in your kit. Your little air blowy things or whatever this is called. Yeah, I actually didn't pay for this. I forgot what it came in something that I purchased uh, but yeah you gotta have something to clean your lenses with uh, and your sensors and all that good stuff gotta have one of these I think that's it for the main compartment then we have ugh, we'll talk about a monitor this is the Phil world I believe it's a five inch monitor um yeah you gotta have one of these if you're not using one of the flip out screens from the sony's which they're just now introducing them um you need to pick up a 
monitor so you can see yourself or when you're shooting your videos for your clients is you know it's kind of a, a nice clear way professional way to display your work yeah so fill work monitor five inch uh it's pretty much on a budget friendly side i believe it's like 150 dollars um yeah but nice piece of tech you should pick this up i recommend it have this little sd card reader for apple um uh, i love this thing you know if you're on a photo shoot and you instantly you want to uh to show your clients the work or if you're out taking your own pictures and you just want to hurry up upload them real quick pop the card in here stick it in your phone import them boom there you go pictures done awesome uh, next up we have filters now i have a bunch of different filters in here but only ones i'll probably just talk about is this knf concept variable nd filter it's a nd2 so 400 um, 67 millimeters i absolutely love this thing you are shooting outside in harsh conditions this is going to be your best friend i promise you it is going to make your photos better um your videos everything you are going to need this i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you go get one. nd filter variable nd filter go get it have other filters in here i don't think i want to talk about them actually no there is one i want to talk about because i've never seen a video on youtube about these i have a, a bunch of different colors now if you can see see how it got like that that fade right here if you're doing photo shoots or videos and you want to change the sky or just change the color to a certain scene man you could pop these on forget about post production you could get it all in camera with these filters um i'm going to link them in the description below next up we have what we, what we got in here my tethering cable so here in my studio um want to do a little photo shoot get some shots going on tether to capture one into my iMac here and yeah so that's why i have this in here that's that and yeah man i pretty much think that's it that's pretty much it hopefully I inspire some of you guys to pick some of this gear up. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you like this video. Put me on to something that maybe I don't know and I should probably go pick up. So, yeah, stay tuned for more videos and like, comment, subscribe once again. And stay tuned for the next video. We out.